Welcome back, Starfires. My name is Takriva. This is some more Stellaris playing the United Nations of Earth. We have some ancient mining drones. Um, we are engaging them, by the way, with our combined destroyer and Corvette fleet. Twelve Corvettes, one destroyer. That one has triple almost triple the power of one Corvette. It's triple the shields, double the hull power. Of course stronger weapons does... Not say how much damage it does. They do have a huge, a pretty good um, rate of attack. Here, 11.83 versus 5.91. Almost double the damage as well. Project complete. The HISMA now stand as living testament to the scientific and technological might of the United Nations of Earth. The United Nations of Earth welcomes them. Okay, one drone is down, one Corvette got hit quite hard. It's always the Corvettes that get hit, you know? Um, you don't have any. Th okay, you're already working on debris. So after that, you're gonna work on this debris. Um, uplift presentience. Didn't I just do this? So let's look at desert world. They oh wow, they even changed how they look. Welcome to uh, Uplifted, yeah. Members are happy in living on planets belonging to their benefactor. Nice. So, reassembled ship shelter. Um, ooh, let's have one of those, actually. It's basically the capital for the city. Whoa. Oh, because they're starborn, they don't collect as many resources, though. They're actually gonna grow almost now. <laughs> so, when we look at their demographics, we basically got a. Uh, a fifth planet from that as well, a desert planet. So there are 29 humans in the... They have all about the same amount of uh, people. We all have roughly the same. Interesting. 15 on one planet? Wow. That's uh, quite a few. Kormathani administration. Oh, they do like us. Oh, they we have an embassy with them, right? Yeah. Rekthalar, the primitives. But we've uplifted a species. Over there. Very, very good. A research station built in orbit of a planetary body will gather its physics, engineering, and society research. Yes, but is it not collecting anything anymore because the planet now has something? I think it is. It doesn't actually say that they're it's collecting though. Where does it say that they collect? I don't see if it's actually collecting though. No. This one. Regardless. We have a new species among living among ourselves. 
Hostile fleet engaged. Ah. The integration of the Hisma, who we uplift, is going more smoothly than expected, but not as smoothly as we had hoped. Despite our efforts to soft shape of their psycho psychology, Hisma still occasionally struggle with the way we do things in the United Nations of Earth. So, the planet gets minus 5 minerals for 24 months. As if they didn't have the minus 20 already for being starborn. You're now on your way here. Perfect. Which system? Oh, this system, right. There was a void cloud over there. Situation log updated. Excellent. So you are on your way here. So after that, research this. Survey the system. We'll be busy for that. You guys can go repair at home. Some combat stats. Research complete. A statistically significant group of Hisma citizens appear unsatisfied with our teachings on the nature of the cosmos. An unknown individual or group among them is circulating some spurious, spurious codex that attaches undue importance to the Hisma and their uplifting by the United Nations of Earth. Let them have their mysteries. Set them straight by any means necessary. Make the materialist. We've also... Ah! We've unlocked the uh, planetary unification. Ooh. Edict to just become more happy. Whoa. Where did we get this amount of influence? Um, that's a lot. Anyway, new research. Tile blocker, remove mountains, remove of quicksand... Regenerative hull tissue is really expensive. If we did that, it would cost a... Wow, only 86 months, though. Edict cost down. Adaptive bureaucracy. Let's do this. Only 10 months. We're getting decent at science. We have something to spend, so... Where are you, Derbiter? You are currently over there. Huh. Let's get a research station out in Mesa. I could easily get another frontier station, by the way. Um, huh. Yeah. We have uplifted them. Uh, we need gene tailoring to do that. Okay. But it's still pretty freaking cool. Oh yeah, we're repairing that sign ship. Hopefully we'll then be able to upgrade it with the warp drive. Travel farther while expending less energy. I like that. A lot. Also, in in five years, we can build cruisers. Five freaking years. It's a long time. We'll get there, though. All right, that's a group of uh, three space amoeba. I think um, familial fission. While the United Nations of Earth provides a solid structure upon which to model their internal social order, it may not necessarily be what suits the uplifted Hisma best. Their sudden rise to becoming our intellectual equals robbed them of millennia of potential societal and cultural development. Perhaps as a result of this, the Hisma societal social order is in a state of extreme flux. One day, the family unit is paramount, and the next day, community leaders are calling for a dissolution of all clan-like bonds. Self-realization comes only through independence. The Hisma gained the individualist ethic. Fascinating. That's a very Spock response. But self-realization comes only through independence. This way it shapes them to be a lot, lot more like us, I guess. So we're still working kind of on the uplifting, I guess. It's still getting done. Ocean and Arid. Arid is now 60% because of the... Uh, 
uh, his mount available. Continental World, 90%. Oh, not bad. Oh, yeah. System survey complete. We're done with Vum. It has some more uh, Batharian stone. Vum is all the way over there, though. Holy crap, that's far away. More mining drones. Let's go to... Also has a continental world. Let's survey Mothelium. Yeah, up here in the north we will get a sector eventually. We actually still have quite a few planets to colonize at home too. Adelimar, I should really send something out there. I'm going to. I'm saving up for that one. Um, you're done in Bukral. Obokrimar. United Oscox. Oh, you returned. Okay. Um, there's a tumor all over there. You know what? Let's survey that one. No idea where they were, actually. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, they got re they repaired at an allied base. Oh, new aliens. We found the new aliens. What do we have here? That's a regular vessel. Interesting. Let's start investigating them. That will be another uh, uh, species up here, probably. Likely. Extremely likely. Continental, continental. Why is this one better? Um, Russell Hag. There's something about this planet. Oh, it's lush, so it's more habitable. That's actually good. Which means I want it. I want all of them. Um, spaceport. You can now build the destroyer assembly yards as well. Colony ship is 350. Uh, next month I can build one. <laughs> Construction complete. We have finished our terraform. Stone Age primitives. A primitive Stone Age proto civilization. Hisma, hundred percent. Yeah, of course. Hang on. Uh, no, I can't do these. Then it's fine. Um, surface. That's better. Yeah, I don't need these guys to produce a lot of minerals, to be honest. So. Quicksand basins, the dangerous wildlife. It all still needs to be cleared. But first, let's build ourselves a colony ship with our human main ethics. Mining station is done over here. Perfect. Um, once you have enough minerals, I want that research station. Oh yeah, we finally got Zuban completely investigated and it is useless. Amoeba and Scod. Hmm. You are going to come back home to upgrade. Debris analyzed. Ooh, oh, mining drone lasers, even more progress. Um, you're you're busy, not busy. Research, complete. Research is complete. Perfect. Warp drive level two. Colony development speed. Basic combat roles. Recent progress in AI behavioral theory allows us to designate specific combat roles for, to our own shipboard computers. More fire rate. Oh, defensive computer or an aggressive computer. 
Sentinel point defense. Ah. Active countermeasures. Let's get them. Being defensive is also a good idea for us, I guess. So, we want ship designer. Our colony ship will definitely get a better warp drive. You can get some thruster upgrade, or sensor upgrade, and these generate 15. Preserver core, it's the only one. We need 20, I think two fission ones is then cheaper and better. Save it, yes, redo that one. Okay. Colony ship has been updated. Uh, construction ship. Uh, better warp drive, and that's perfectly fine. Sea line Mark 3. We can remove the Mark 2. Our science ship will also get that upgrade. Science lab, that's fine. Also, perfectly fine when it comes to that. Um, Walter Rayleigh, really, actually. We're gonna name this the Evangelist Craft. Yes, make the old one. After our previous ruler. Actually, I should... I wanted to check that. I completely forgot I needed to check on that. Uh, she's not no longer available. Or is she? No. She is no longer available. We're getting some old people as well, by the way. Jesus. Busy governing. Does that mean that Earth has no governor right now? It is. I will get a new governor. Yuntan. Building cost, construction time, leader lifespan, slave... No, we don't need Iron Fist. Definitely not. Let's get Andrea von Fritsch. Construction time, clear blocker time, building cost down. That could potentially be very good. Still only the engineering facility available. I'm good for now. I'm waiting on a construction mining station to be built over here, preferably. But let's get back to our ships. So the Wasp Mark 3 will have the Warp Drive Mark 2. Which means we need a fission reactor here instead of a small fission reactor. No, fusion reactor. So we're going to save that one. I'm going to remove the old one. And finally our destroyer. That's a slight issue though. Hmm. We don't have enough power. What if we moved to a hope breaker? Yeah, I think that's better. Because it, uh, it will give us a lot more small things. But it gives us more uh, utility slots down here. Actually, I think I can go to the Shine Bulwark then as well. A little bit less damage, I believe, but more utility slots allows for bigger shields as well. So let's get started with Deflectors. Uh, front and aft. Two of these. Then we can have small deflectors as well. And two of them. And some of this. Now it has 150 shields. Does less damage, but has a lot stronger... Uh, holds out a lot longer. So this will be the Bratis... Nah, no longer the Bratislava. This is a completely different ship. So this will be the Sarajevo. And that means we can remove the old design... Okay, so, construction ship, you're first going to do that thing. So, the USS Klosterman is coming home. And you are going to do that to upgrade. And then, first get there, then upgrade. After that, um, then you're going to upgrade as well. Once you're done in Gathrica, you're going to upgrade. Once you're done in Mesa, you're going to upgrade. 
And the fleet is already returning home uh, to repair first. Okay. Let's wait for the next month so we can actually get that mining station going in Procyon. <laughs> Working on the debris, which is good. Almost, almost. 30th and 1st. It does differentiate the months as well, which is quite fun. You are going to get the societal research because it's just worth more right now. After that, you're coming to Seoul to upgrade. Yes, first research station, then upgrades. How much is it to upgrade our current fleet anyway? 170. Okay, wow. Research station is done. Yeah, let's repair them first and see what else happens after that. So we're getting a spaceport on New Jamestown. It's nearly done. You're on four, you're on two, you're on five. Because you're on five, you can actually upgrade this already to a full planetary administration. Which would be pretty good. System survey complete. Anomaly found. Um, an anomaly. We briefly detect some unusual energy readings emanating from this planet. Research it. Get that in the queue first. There, they will be repaired really fast. And they are repaired. I want to thank you all for watching. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. And subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date in the future. I'll see you guys later.